Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one. We are getting into a two looks, one palette using the Ace Beauté Flare palette, which is a very beautiful colour story, very vibrant colours, really, really thought through colour story. I would like one or two shimmers. If you want to see my first impressions and just general thoughts on the palette the first time I used it, I do have a first impressions already. I'll either have it up here or it'll be down below. But yeah, I have some things with it that make it not like the most perfect palette in my whole life. But I'll get into that in that video and a little bit in this video as well. So I do really love it. I love the colours. It's a very inspiring colour palette and I really want to use some of the cooler toned, more neutral shades in the palette actually today. Plus obviously the green. I mean the green is obvious for me to use because it's my favourite colour ever. So yeah, I love how this first look comes out. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm doing for my second look as of right now. I'm not sure. We'll both find out together because I don't know how it's going to look. If you want to see any up close pictures of this look, then my Instagram is linked down below. I post up close eye pictures, full face pictures and all that jazz down there. Plus my TikTok where I do all my weird transitions and things. They're all listed down below so you can see that and go follow me there. So this is the first look and I'm really liking it and I can't wait to see what else I kind of pull out of this palette for my second look so let's get in to look number one okay so let's get in to look number one using the flare palette from ace beauté i have to use this corner right here but i'm also going to use the greens as well because i really want to use this and i want to use this to deepen it but this i think i'm going to do on the upper lid just going to do a simple enough eye and then do the greens on the lower lash line i'm very excited i was going to do them on the inner corner but then i was like i won't be able to use the darker green and i do want to use that so i'm going to do them on the lower lash line so i already have my skin on i've also got my bronzer blusher brows and eyeshadow primer on which will all be listed down below but i will go through what's on my cheeks towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that but we're going to get straight into it so we're going to start with the darker shade acorn which is this really dark brown very cool tone brown as well which i really enjoy i love a cool tone brown i'm going to use mulberry then the lighter kind of taupey shade to blend that out but i'm taking that on a bh cosmetics lavender looks number seven brush so this sort of fluffy brush and we're just going to pack that on the outer corner i've used a slightly different eyeshadow primer as well i use my urban decay primer potion in my first impressions and i'm using my mac 24 hour eye base because it's a little bit stickier and i'm going to just see how the colors stick to this I'm not going to blend this shade out too much. I'm just going to pack it through the crease. Because what I said in my first impressions, which I'll have it linked down there or up here somewhere, that it's kind of a thinner eyeshadow formula. So it does take a bit more building, but you still get a good colour impact out of it. And I can see where some people don't like that kind of formula. And I can see where some people do like that kind of formula. It's up to yourself. I It doesn't bother me. It just takes a little bit more building up. And I'm keeping it in a bit of a rounded shape. I'm not really fussed on the general shape of the eye. I just want to see how the colours go for me. So then I'm going to take Mulberry, which is that taupey shade, which I love that sort of tone. It's like a mauvey, grey sort of shade. And I'm taking that on a 217 from MAC. So it's a little bit of a fluffier sort of brush than what we just used. And I'm going to use that to blend out this brown. I know this is probably the obvious choice for these colours in this palette. Although you'd probably use the brown with a few of the red and orangey kind of shades in the palette. But this... I just love a cool toned smoky eye and there's a nice bit of purple off that lighter shade i really like that so i'm just taking that i'm just kind of overlapping it with the edge of that dark brown and just build around it and fluff it out as much as you feel like you want to because we obviously want the brown to still be like our depth in the actual look but i still need it to blend it into something which will be this purple. Then just take the brush that we use for the dark brown and you can just re-intensify or get your blend moving a little bit more for you. It's blending quite well. It's, again, the thinner formula is kind of hard to get a lighter shade to blend a darker shade out, but some people have found it hard to layer them. So that's why I'm kind of trying both ways to see what I prefer. I do prefer this method with this shadows, but it, it is a little bit more difficult to blend them out. Again, it's not like the, the like they don't work or anything like that it's just it's a little bit more work okay before we do the lower lash line i want to do my shimmer on the lid i'm kind of loving these tones so i think they're so beautiful very me if i'm gonna go neutral so i'm gonna take the nyx glitter primer i'm gonna pop my shimmer on the lid but i want to pop this on first just gonna use my finger i don't want to do anything too fussy because we're gonna have a lot going on with the lower lash line so just take that and press that all over the lid 
and I'm actually going to use my finger to apply the shade because I want to see how these shimmers apply with the finger. Again, the shimmer formula is better than the matte formula in this palette. It's just they're not as they're a bit more harder pressed is what I'm going to say. So I just want to use my finger to see if I can get even more impact out of these shimmers. And I have said this, I probably said it in the beginning and I've said it in my first impressions. This is the older Ace Beauté formula that I'm using. So I'm interested now to maybe invest in another palette from them with their newer formula to see how that works. So now I'm going to take the shade Biscotti, which is a beautiful light shimmer that has like that kind of purpley grey base to it and then a gold shimmer all throughout it so it will go beautifully with this and I'll probably use it on my inner corner as well. So I'm just picking that up on my finger and we're just going to press that onto our now tacky base. Oh that is pretty. Oh I really like that colour. It kind of on camera it's, I don't know if it's hitting the light the way it's hitting the light here. You can definitely see the gold, but then when I'm kind of off the light, it goes a bit purple. Okay, that is beautiful. That's the most interesting shimmer in the whole palette and I love it. Yes, that is beautiful. And that is gonna photograph so pretty once it hits the light in the right way. So now I'm gonna take Acorn again, just a little bit on the same brush that we used for it. And we're just gonna tap that over all the edges of that shimmer, just to make sure we get a nice blend in between. If you can hear a dog bark, and that is my neighbor's dog, Marley, and he is the most beautiful golden retriever and he is such a good boy and him barking, brightens my day. Okay so now working on the lower lash line I'm going to take the shade Moss which is the darker green and I'm taking that on a number seven essential lip brush which is like a flat kind of it's a very stiff sort of brush but I love it for the lower lash line. I don't really use lip brushes that much unless I'm working on someone else then I will and this is a very mossy foresty sort of green so we're going to just take that and we're going to run that very close to the lashes I don't necessarily want this colour to be the focal green of the lower lash and I do want it to be more the chartreuse but I do want a little bit of depth as well. That is going the whole way across. That is beautiful shade. This is going to give me such a swampy lower lash line because the tone of this is quite a yellowy green. Even though it's a deeper sort of green, it's still a yellowy green. Blended it with that chartreuse shade will be so swampy. Absolute swamp monster vibes. But I am getting a good bit of follow from that, which I wasn't expecting. Obviously, the usuals, make sure it connects on the outer corner. I've dragged it right in and you don't have to go as thick as I do. I just like it like that. So then to blend that out, I'm just going to take this flat brush that I have. There's like no name on this. I got it on eBay. It's just a flat brush, but I just want something that I can kind of do this with, basically. That's the motion we're going for. And then we're going to take Sherbert, which is that like acid greeny yellow chartreuse sort of shade. And we're going to use that to blend out this green on the lower lash line. So just going back and forward over the line of that darker green just to get a blend going. You can add more of the dark green than more of the lighter green to get the intensity that you like. Oh yeah, that's a weird colour combo, but I'm loving it. Okay, so our last little step. This is a very easy look and a very quick look as well to go through. I'm only filming for about 15 minutes, so that's uh, not that long for me. And I'm going to take Biscotti again and I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner because I just think that makes sense for me. To pop that here this is just a mac what are you a 513 ses it's like an angled pencil brush i'm just going to take that it doesn't matter you can use your finger again if you want to so i'm going to take that and that's going to go on the inner corner because the gold will blend lovely into that green that's on the lower lash line and it'll still match the lid as well okay so that is our look done i'm going to jump off i am going to finish off the eyes throw on a lip probably just a nude lip i think with this look i know the last one wasn't super nude but <laughs> it was like a pink but the last one being my first impressions because that's the last video i filmed before this one but i am going to jump off i am going to probably do a grazy nude of sorts and i'll let you know what i use once i'm back okay guys so this is how i finish off the look i am loving this look and it's such a simple look like for how pretty i feel right now i feel so pretty with this so i'm going to quickly go through everything that i used on my face i didn't do any upper lash line liner so i just went in with a liner on my waterline and i used my nyx epic wear liner stick in the shade all time olive which is an olivey green but it actually has a bit of gold in it which i forgot about and it actually matches that lid shade really well with the gold so it tied everything in together really well then my mascara is my MAC in Extreme Dimension mascara, just on my top and my bottom lashes. My false lashes then are the BH Cosmetics M205 lashes. They were like 350 on Beauty Bay and they're just really long, just super long and they really open up my eye for me. 
my cheek then I went in with my Huda let me try and open it Huda Tantor contour bronzing cream in the shade fair just to bronze up the skin a little bit and add a bit of color and a bit of shape to the face my blush then is the Ingla AMC cream blush as well that's why I kind of had them on before I did any of my eyes because they were creams and I wanted to set my face as well I used the shade 91 which is this really soft peachy pink and I love it I actually really love the shade and then my super glossy highlight is my color pop super shock cheek it's very hard to say that in flexitarian which is the most wet and shiny cheek highlight of all time basically well not really but like one of them anyway and then for my lip i went in with my old reliable i went in with my bobby brown lip pencil in the shade bobby which is a gray brown if you have max stone lip liner that's exactly the same shade so either one of those works and then my lip is the mac viva glam 2 lipstick which is a gray kind of not a gray it's like a cool toned pinky brown very cool toned it's a lot darker on me but it would be a lot lighter on some other people but i love it with this and it matches the crease shade really well okay so that is look number one using the ace beauté flare palette i really 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 like this look i actually like this better than my first impressions look as well i think it's just a bit more of my kind of style sort of look and the general application of it went on a lot easier because i used a different eyeshadow primer and i used a I, I did the darker shade first to the lighter shade so i really really like this look and how it's looking i'm interested to see what we do for look number two okay guys so we're going to get into look number two with the ace beauty flare palette i'm definitely going to use some of these orangey shades and i really want to use this mustardy yellow sort of shade here i might add a bit of green in because i like the contrast of that and it'll give it a more autumnal look even though it is springtime but that's the vibe I get off this palette anyway. And I'm really excited to use these two shimmers that we haven't used yet as well. I might do a bit of a cut creasey with glitter primer kind of thing. So nothing too serious with the cut crease. I already have my skin on, my brows on. I'm going to pop my eyeshadow primer on now. And I also have some of my cheeks on, which will be listed down below so you can see that there. But we're going to get straight in. So we're going to start with the shade Hazelnut here. This really dark, not really dark, but like a burnt orange. This is more of a true orange. But this is going to be a little bit deeper and I'm starting with this. I'm probably not going to use this shade here because they're very similar to each other. I'm actually going to use the cider shade there to blend it out. So we're just going to take Hazelnut on a Makeup Geek to find crease brush. And that's going to go on the outer corner. Not I don't want to go too mental blending this shade up. And if I need to darken, I have that dark shade Acorn to deepen it if I do feel like it. Packing that on and we're going to pop that through half of the crease and then while i'm at it i'm going to do my lower lash line so we're going to take the same shade again and i'm going to take that on a 214 from mac just because i want it to be nice and intense down here and this will give me more impact with the application because it's a smaller brush and that is going to go about two thirds of the way across okay so now i'm going to take the shade cider which is that kind of it's a yellow definitely but it's definitely in the mustard family and we're going to use that on a bh cosmetics number six from the rose gold set so a fluffy brush i'm just going to overlap that with the orange that we just put down just around the edges and this will really warm this up for us so just blending all of the edges all the way around just going to take a little bit more of that hazelnut shade and we're just going to re-intensify i'm going to take that same shade as well on the same brush we're just going to buff out this lower lash line I'm kind of doing my lower lash line as I go because I'm just using the same shades on the lower lash line anyway. So, and it's generally the same steps. I really like this shade cider. I think it's beautiful. And the shade hazelnut as well is actually stunning as well. Again, you can go in with the hazelnut shade again and re-intensify just on the lower lash line. Making sure your blend is all lovely. And if you're feeling your Hayley Williams vibes, you can stop here, put like an orange or a yellow shimmer on the lid and off you go for your blue eye Hayley Williams sort of look but that's not what we're doing so what i'm going to do now is take the shade moss which is that slightly deeper foresty green mossy green essentially taking that on a 221s from mac and that is going to go on this inner part of the crease that's why i didn't bring this all the way through i just want it to be a bit weird in here i don't know why just some kind of feeling just going really slowly a little bit at a time tapping off my brush and build the color up it might not blend too well into the orange but just as i've said before with contrasting shades it's best to under blend than over blend because if you over blend they go a bit mucky so like that to me now is fine that'll photograph beautifully it'll look beautiful and it still looks like they fade into each other there's no harsh stop this is where the autumnal vibe sort of comes from 
I am going to take that shade again and we're going to pop that just on this inner part in here. So we're taking moss again and I'm just taking a MAC 513 SES. It's like a Christmas one that they came out. I always say it every time I use it because I know you can't get it anymore. Um, it's just like a, a little angled pencil brush, but any pencil brush will do. And that is going to go on this little inner part in here, just for a bit of interest. I did bring it down quite far, but I like bringing things down far on this inner part in here. I love a kind of tired sort of look to the eye and I think this is so pretty. Okay, so on some beautiful shimmers, we're going to do the kind of burgundy plummy sort of shade and the orange. And I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer for this to pop that on. And we're going to do a half cut crease with glitter primer. So I'm just using a brush. This is a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number no. 7 brush. Any flat brush will do that you like to do a cut crease with. So I just like to press that all over the eye. I'll probably use a little bit too much here. And then just with whatever's on the brush then, just I'm just taking a bit of pressure. Carve out the shape of my crease. I like to go a little bit higher because it's not because my eyes are hooded. It's because the way my eye is shaped quite rounded that I get transferred just in here. And I don't know why. So I always bring my cut crease up a bit higher. And I like to use a glitter primer to do a cut crease because one, I don't have to be as precise because it's clear. And two, it, it, even if it's not perfect, it's fine. I don't mind that, that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so I am gonna take the shade Mirage, which is that burgundy kind of rusty sort of shade. I'm taking it on that same brush. It's a little, I wiped off most of the glitter primer that was left on the brush, but it's still a little bit tacky. So it helps prevent fallout as well. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty. And I'm just going to take that on the center part of the lid. Whoa. Oh, I like that color. That could be my favorite shimmer in the palette now. So that's just going on the center part. We're going to leave the inner part and kind of where the cut part of the cut crease is. We're going to leave that bare for the other shimmer. I have found that these shimmers go on better with your finger. Um, so what I like to do is get a general base with a brush just to get the area the preciseness all that kind of stuff especially when you're doing something like a cut crease you can get the cut part and then fill in the rest with your finger um i just find pressing it on with this sort of metallic formula it just goes on a bit nicer and i don't mind that at all then i'm going to take the shade firefly which is this gorgeous orange with a gold sort of shimmer through it and i'm going to take that on just a small little brush this kind of has oh it's like a pinky orange this is just a small brush i have from charles fox i don't know what the name of it is it's just a really small little brush and we're gonna pop that on this inner part in here. Well, that's pretty too. And I'm gonna do the same with this as I did with the more red shimmer. I'm gonna apply it with the brush, get my preciseness, especially around the cut part, and then go in with my finger just to really intensify it. They're just harder pressed shimmers, which is fine. Um, That's your way around it, is just use your finger, it's easier. And then just go back and forth. They should blend almost effortlessly because they are like both very warm shades. They both have a bit of red in them. Pat over between the two brushes to get your blend going. Okay, and then last little step, just on the inner corner, we're gonna take Biscotti, which is that really light, almost taupey sort of shade, but it has a gold sheen off or like a pure kind of sheen off it. Just gonna take a little bit of that on the inner corner. So just on a really small little brush like that, we're just gonna take some of that and press that over. Blend a little bit into the green on the lower lash line. Blend a little bit upwards towards this green up here. Just get it in the general area of your lower lash line. Blend it into the orange as well is quite important. But the gold should come out more than any other colour in that shade. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I am going to jump off. I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to do a liner, lashes, cheek. Well, my cheek's kind of pretty much done, but I'm going to finish them off and then do my lip. And I'll come back and I'll show you what I used on, on, uh, on the rest of my face. Okay, guys, so this is how I finish off look number two. And I really love it. It's very autumnal. I will say that. And it is springtime. But you can't not with this palette. With these colours, you can't not, I think. I actually think my favourite shimmer in the palette is that red, the shimmery kind of rusty sort of shade. That's beautiful. And my favourite matte in the palette is that green, even over the chartreuse green, because this green, it's just the most beautiful tone of green. It's so stunning. I love it. So to finish off my face, I went in, I didn't do any liner up on my upper lash line because I didn't really feel like doing it. So I went in with two liners on my waterline to kind of mix them together. So I started with the NYX Epic, Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade All Time Olive, but it's a bit too kind of, it's not green enough. So I greened up a little bit. It's not much, but a, a little bit with the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Gotcha which is just a bright neon green. So I tried to kind of layer them up and it worked enough to where I'm happy with it. 
My mascara then is my MAC In Extreme Dimension mascara, just on my top and my bottom lashes. And then my lashes are the Violet Voss Wisp or Wisp Out You lashes. And they are stunning. They're super, super dense right in the roots and then really feathery at the ends, but they're not too long. Again, I want to still see all the colours that we have going on on the face. On to cheeks then, which I had most of it done at the beginning of the tutorial. I went in with my Lorizzi Contour Stick Bronzer Stick, whatever it's called, in the shade Aloha. Mine is groupy. Anyway, one of my favourite bronzers slash contours that I have in my whole collection. I always love using it. And if I ran out of it, I would definitely repurchase it. And then I went in with creams, all creams on the cheeks today. I went in with the Bobbi Brown Rouge, Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks in the shade Fresh Melon, which is like a soft peach shade for the cheeks. It's stunning. It works really well with these warmer tones, especially as well. And during the summer, it's beautiful. And then for highlights, something I haven't used in so long. This is the cream color base from MAC in the shade Luna. Mine's very well loved. You can see how much pan is actually in this, but I think it's stunning. I always forget how beautiful it is until I put it on and I'm like, oh, I need to use that more. But with wearing masks and work, there's no point. <laughs> then on to lips, I did do a kind of burnt orange lip to kind of match the matte shade on the outer corner. I think it ties in quite well. So I went in with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Chicory, which is just a burnt orange lip liner. It's beautiful. And then my lip. As soon as I kind of had the eye done, I kind of knew the colour I was going to go for on the lip. So I went in with Marrakesh Lipstick from MAC, which is your classic darker burnt orange they do chili which is more of like a burnt orange this is more like a bit more muted down and a slight bit darker and i actually prefer this one on me because it's not as in your face although it's still a dark and you know strong color it's not like pow at you it's it's nice it's like a subtle strong lip i love it okay so that is our second look using the ace beauté flare palette i I'm really liking the palette, although it's not my favourite formula in the whole entire world. As I said, I'll probably get one of their palettes that have the new reformulation to see if that's any better, more my style. But like, look at the look I just created. It's stunning. This is probably my favourite look I've done with this palette. Even over my first impressions, even over the first look in this video, this is my favourite look because I just think it's very cohesive together. I didn't use everything. So I didn't use the shade Pumpkin, which is that orange in the middle. And I didn't use the neon orange, which is Saffron. But I use everything else. Yes, I did. So I might use those in another video at some point in the future. But it's not a bad palette. Don't get me wrong. And I know they don't, I don't think they make this formula anymore anyway. So the new formula will have to be what well, it's judged. So I, I, this is probably not even a really good judge of this formula. But I think the colour story is beautiful. So I definitely would invest in the colour story if that's what you're looking for. I think it's a great one if you're kind of stepping into colours a little bit because they're still a little bit like they're bright it's colourful but it's a bit more manageable for people who aren't maybe that used to colours and it's easy to kind of put a look together like you've got all your greens and blues down here you've got your kind of orangey neutrals um, and more neutrals and your cooler kind of tones up here so yeah I think it's a very beautiful palette I love the fact that I have it but it's just not my favourite formula of my entire collection but not a bad formula either. So if you did like this video, then give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support, get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video so I will continue to do more. Also hit subscribe down below because we've got many more things coming up. So many tutorials, so many palettes coming up that I, I did have a list as long as... Oh, I don't know, I was going to say something dirty, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> so yeah, I am... Um, I'm excited to get into many more looks coming up with all the palettes I have coming. So don't forget to subscribe for that. As I said in the beginning of this video, my Instagram is linked down below and my TikTok is linked down below where I have all the up close eye pictures, full face pictures and weird transitions that I do on TikTok all linked down there. So go give that a follow. Plus I'm going to try and get a bit more active on my stories down there, more fun kind of everyday sort of things. So hopefully I remember to do so and it's just go follow and see what happens. And finally, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this look, which look is your favourite, I want to know, out of all three. So my first impressions, if you've watched that one already, if not, go watch it and then leave a comment on this video. And the first look and then this look as well. My favourite is this look. This is, yeah, I love the colours out of this and my eyes look so blue right now. But this is the perfect look for many eye colours. So the green will suit kind of brown and, and that kind of vibe going. The orange tones and the yellowy tones suit blue eyes, which is why it stands out a lot on me. The kind of red rusty sort of shade will stand out really nice on green hazel eyes as well. And if you've got grey eyes, like 
most of this will kind of work for you as well because grey is kind of a neutral sort of tone so yeah I think it's a very fun very fun look and I love it so that is everything and I am going to see you in the next video guys bye